Starship's next test flight is getting close, and big changes are happening fast at the SpaceX launch site in Texas. One key upgrade is a new system on the launch tower that will connect the rocket to ground power and fuel. At the same time that Ship 37 is receiving its final engines and getting closer to testing, there is also a major update from the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The agency has announced the next team of astronauts who will fly to the International Space Station using the Crew Dragon spacecraft, along with their official launch date. We'll be looking at all these details and more, but before that, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the latest space industry news. Work is still happening at Starbase to prepare for the next flight. The team is working fast to fix everything and get ready for more tests. A recent notice from the Federal Communications Commission has revealed a possible date for the next Starship test. According to the document, the flight might happen on August 4, 2025. This document lists the purpose of the mission and says that August 4 is when the operation is expected to start. These types of notices don't always get a lot of attention, but in the past they have been pretty accurate. For recent Starship launches, these dates have usually matched the real launch dates so there's a good chance that the flight will happen close to August 4th. Some people may be upset that the flight won't happen in July, but early August is still quick, considering the damage from Ship 36's last flight. SpaceX had to fix the launch pad and make upgrades. Now they can use the rest of July to check everything again. These extra days could help make the next flight smoother and more successful. So, do you think the next flight will happen on August 4th or will it be later? Some people think it might happen on August 7th, since that's a Thursday, and SpaceX has launched most of its recent flights on Thursdays. Whatever the date, we'll find out soon. Regarding the launch pad, SpaceX is trying something new. They are using a simple testing stand directly on the launch pad, called Pad A. This helps speed up the testing process. But there was a problem. The spaceship still needs a special connection system to hold it in place and provide support during testing. The existing connection system on the launch tower is too high and does not work with the current setup. Also, the booster part of the rocket has its own separate system, and it does not match the one needed for the spaceship. So, SpaceX built a new connection system. Workers used cranes to place a small steel frame onto the backside of the booster connection system. Photos show that the shape of this frame fits the cover exactly, which means it was carefully designed for this purpose. There is still some work going on, as seen from scaffolding near the frame. This new frame is smaller than the usual large systems used for full rocket tests. That means it is only a temporary fix for now. It is likely made strong enough to handle one or two tests and then removed later. It makes sense because the new system is installed on a part that needs to open up later when the rocket is working. So this setup is probably just for short-term use. Along with this new frame, SpaceX made another change. They cut a hole into the lower part of the booster connection system. This hole leads to a pipe that now points upward. This pipe is probably meant to carry fuel or electricity to the spaceship through the new temporary frame. Now the connection system has two parts. A new setup with a pipe and steel frame made for this test, and parts reused from the booster system. This mix helps save time and avoid major redesigns. When talking about the test stand designed to hold the spaceship for engine tests, it has already been upgraded with new legs to help it stay firmly attached. It was also changed to hold the spaceship's special engines called Raptor vacuum engines. These engines are larger and work better in the vacuum of space compared to the ones used near Earth. In just a few days, the stand will be placed onto the launch pad. Workers will make sure it fits the mount and then attach it using bolts and screws. This will also make it easier to take it off later when it is no longer needed. Earlier this month, two more engines were delivered to the assembly building. These are the final engines needed for Ship 37. Now all the engines are ready. They are inside the main building waiting to be installed. Once everything is attached and tested, the ship will be ready for a big test. That test is called a static fire test. This is when all the engines are turned on while the ship is still on the ground. It helps engineers make sure everything works before launch. The date of this test depends on how quickly workers can finish the installation and checks at the pad. But it looks like SpaceX is almost ready. We might see the engines fire up very soon.
The next Crew Dragon mission, called Crew 11, is set to launch on July 31, 2025, at 12.09 p.m. Eastern Time from Launch Pad 39A in Florida. This launch date was confirmed by SpaceX and the NASA. Before Crew 11 flies, another mission called CRS-33 will be launched. That mission will help push the International Space Station into a higher orbit. This is important to keep the station stable and ready for future use. Crew 11 consists of four astronauts, Commander Zena Cartman, U.S., Pilot Mike Frink, U.S., and Mission Specialist Kimiya Yui, Japan, and Oleg Platonov, Russia. Endeavour, a spacecraft that has flown five times, will embark on its sixth flight. This is significant as Dragon capsules were initially approved for only five crewed flights. A successful sixth flight could lead to future increases. Endeavour's upgraded Drogue 3.1 parachute system now uses stronger materials and a new packing method for smoother, safer deployment. Falcon 9, which previously flew on the Axiom 4 mission in June, will launch the capsule. Soon, the Dragon capsule and its rocket will be moved to the launch pad for final checks. After launching, Crew 11 will stay at the space station for about six months. Then, the astronauts from Crew 10 will return to Earth. Meanwhile, not all companies are moving at the same pace. Boeing's Starliner spacecraft has hit another delay. With more setbacks piling up, some are questioning whether Starliner will ever be a reliable option for future astronaut missions. The contrast between SpaceX's steady progress and Boeing's struggles shows both the challenges and importance of getting space travel right. While Crew Dragon is moving forward, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft is not. After the last flight, it has stayed on the ground. There are still many questions about when it will fly again and whether it will carry people or just cargo. A few days ago, a NASA manager named Steve Stitch talked about this. He said, NASA has not decided yet. But he said the next mission will probably carry only cargo, not astronauts. This would allow NASA and Boeing to test the changes they are making without risking lives. Starliner has had several problems, including small leaks and cooling issues. These problems affect the engines and make it unsafe for people. A cargo flight could help test the fixes before flying people again. Right now, engineers are testing new materials to stop the leaks. They are also trying to improve the way heat moves away from the engines and checking how the engines work with different commands. The next mission is planned for early next year. But the longer Boeing waits, the harder it becomes to prove that Starliner is still a useful spacecraft. The International Space Station won't stay in orbit forever. SpaceX is launching often and proving that its spacecraft works. Time is running out for Boeing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.